Hi Levan fans, welcome to the next instalment in this exciting series of videos where we make a 1 in 5 6 shipping container. In video 2 we made and cut all the components for our project. To glue our projects together we will just be using some white craft glue or PVA glue and white glue it's called. It's got many names this glue and a little brush is quite handy as well. So we're going to start off by gluing our foam board together. Now this one here is going to be the base of our shipping container and the slightly smaller one is going to be the side of our shipping container and what we need to do is glue that there like so at a nice little right angle so that becomes our side. Now when we glue this we want to get it nice in line and nice and clean on this edge here however as we glue this up this all gets covered up so if this is a bit messy it's okay it's going to get covered up by something else and if that's a bit messy that actually gets covered up by something else and any little kinks or not quite in line just becomes damage to the shipping container so it's going to work out either way so let's get our glue and what I'm going to do is just run some glue across the bottom here, like so. Just spread that out a bit, getting it right up on the edge. Any access glue can be wiped away. And now I'm just going to glue that there. Like so what I find helps me is I've got a little fence here so I can push up against that fence. I'm pushing my base up to the fence and that wall. I check that it's in line here and everything looks good. And while it's sitting there like that, I can take the second part and do the same here as well. While waiting for the glue to dry, I like to reflect on life. <sighs> so our glue is nice and dry and things are looking pretty good at this moment in time. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the ends of our shipping container. And for that we need two pieces of cardboard the same dimensions as here which is 44 millimeters by 46 millimeters we're going to glue those on now so we'll place our glue like so really good idea to spread this out getting it right on the edges and focus really focus on the edges and even just brush it over a little bit because we want a really good seal with that so we're going to take this and place this on here that's great and just So now it's time to start covering it with the corrugated cardboard. Now I've put down an extra protective surface because the glue is going to get a bit messy on this one. This piece here is the top and then we've got our two sides there ready to roll as well. So let's get some glue on here. And we need to get a nice even layer with this. Again, focusing on those edges and once we're focused on the edges and we've got that covered in glue we can stick that on top like so and once that's all nicely lined up it is hanging over the edges a bit but that's fine we can either trim that off or these bits are tucking nicely like so and remember like I said little slips and little things can come out later 
that's perfectly fine. Could be a dent, could be a wrinkle. So let's get on with these other pieces here. So now I'm going to start gluing the uprights on here. I've put my glue in a little dish and just using the brush, just giving a nice good layer of glue there and then sticking that on like, like so. So that's looking pretty good there. And we'll do the other corner as well. I'm really excited right now. Things are looking pretty fantastic. It's turned from a box into a shipping container. Exciting times. I've got my doors here, which I'm going to glue on now. Okay, confession time. I've made a little mistake. What I've done is I forgot about the end here. Now, I've got two choices. I could either put um, doors on the end, so it's double doors, but I did plan to put a corrugated sheet on the back, like so. Now the problem is, is if I stick it on like here, I'm not gonna have those nice clean corners. But hey, you know what? It's gonna be fine, because what I'm gonna do is stick this on like so, and then just put new edges on top of that, and it will be perfectly fine. So managed to sort out a little error at the end there. So we've got a nice end on there. We've got our sides, we've got our top and our other side. And then we've got our doors this end. And the bottom is just nice and flat and blank like so. Now one thing we have to do is put some bar handles on the doors. So this is where the little bits of spaghetti come in handy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll these round so they have little balls of glue at each end. And then I'm going to put these on the end on a shipping container like so. And I'm just doing it a few mils away from the edge of the door. So we're going to let that dry and then we'll be ready to paint. So this is already looking more than just a black box. It's looking more like a shipping container. When we get a few layers of paint on this and some finishing techniques, it's going to look fantastic. And that is our next video in this four part series. So join us then. If you're making your own shipping containers, please let us know in the comments. If you like our videos, please subscribe. And if you want to support us financially on coffee please follow the link in the comments